This is the new fish passage in and out of Hyde Pond, an easier way for the rainbow and brook trout and other fish to travel along this waterway. The fish numbers here had been declining, so the local watershed group came up with this project to help the fish. They are born in fresh water, so Hyde Creek upstream of Hyde Pond, and then they live there for a few years and then migrate to the ocean to grow and feed, and then they'll come back to where they were born in fresh water to spawn and reproduce. It's important that these fish have access to this habitat to reproduce for their populations. This fish passage had been here for decades, replaced now by the new one. This pond has been a popular destination for years. Yeah, so growing up in, in Cornwall in, uh, in, in the 80s and 90s, and obviously generations before me, uh, the pond has been utilized quite a bit for swimming, fishing, uh, hockey in, in the wintertime. The project cost $240,000, with $50,000 from the town, along with the PEI Watershed Alliance, the Atlantic Salmon Federation, and the Cornwall Watershed Group. Yeah, well, as you can see, it's beautiful. Um, it would be great if folks could come back and start fishing here again. Uh, it's a nice activity to have in the, in the central part of town. I would say the biggest challenge is that it's so urban. Hyde Creek and Hyde Pond is in the heart of Cornwall, and that's great for residents, but it's also important to educate them on best practices around water courses, and that it's important that fish have passage to their habitat. The watershed group has also added a repeat photo station. Residents are encouraged to take photos of the pond throughout the seasons. Having them be our eyes on the pond and sharing that information with us is really important. Hannah McLean hopes residents appreciate the improvements at the popular pond. We put in a lot of effort for improving this ecosystem and not just for the fish but also for the community that they can enjoy this area for fishing and bird watching and other recreational activities. Nancy Russell, CBC News, Cornwall.